Okay. So our client is a major milk pro uh milk producer in New Cowland. Then our client's the name is MIC Milking It Corporation. So New Cowland has recently introduced a law and asked MIC our client to reduce its greenhouse gas emission by 45 percentage within the next five years or they have to shut down. Our client MIC, they currently produce 20 percentage of, of new Cowland's greenhouse gas emission. So MIC has hired us to figure out a way to reach these targets. Great, thank you. Um, so just to recap, our client is MIC Milk Corporation, and they are a milk producing company in New Cowland. And they come to us because they would they have an objective of reducing their greenhouse gas emissions by 45% in five years. Yes. Thank you. Um, beyond the 45% in five years figure, are there any metrics for success that our client would like us to keep in mind? No. Great. Oh yeah, um, there, there, there is one. They, uh, they do not want want to reduce the volumes, the current volumes. Hmm. It, they are not considering to cut their production. Great. Do not worry. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, can I ask a couple of clarifying questions? Um, how is how is greenhouse gas emissions measured? Is it CO2 per pounds of CO2? How, how would it be measured? I mean, that's not uh, uh, that relevant. So okay. it, you can just, it's, uh, it's me measured by, by volumes. By volume, okay. Oh, and um, there's one, another thing that you want, you want to consider is um, they, they, uh, they have a budget in mind. Okay, a budget. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so how much, how much is their current uh, budget for their operations? 750 million per year. $750 million? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are, what kind of, how much volume, how much volume are they currently selling? If they don't want to reduce volume, how much is their volume currently? Uh, they don't want to, uh, reduce, um, at this moment, they produce a hundred percent of new Cowland's milk supply. Great. And do you know how much of that, that is? The, how much of, um, that supply is in, in gallons or, or leaders we could calculate that later absolutely um let me see do we could i just know the location that new Calen is in uh new Calen, you can just imagine it's um it's a city okay in the city okay um and we produce 100 percent of new Calen's milk um let's see is there any information on the market if there's any other uh, market out outside of new Calen that sells milk we just think that's a local problem. Local problem. Okay. Local problem. Okay. All right. I think that's all the information I need for now. Do you mind if I take a oh, moment? Oh, right. I mean, it's actually the it's it's a local problem in terms of uh the regulation is from New Calend. So New Calend want 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 our uh, client to reduce the greenhouse gas. But for our for our clients, uh, only five percent they provide hundred percent of New Calend milk supply, but only five percent of their market is local. The rest it's the export. Okay. Okay, absolutely. Thank you. And we don't have any information on their current current volume of selling or their current revenues. Uh, the current revenue is. Fifteen billion dollar. Fifteen billion dollars. Fifteen billion. Okay, absolutely. Um, great, great. Do they do they sell any other products besides milk? Do they sell cheese? They only sell milk. Only milk. Great. Okay, great. Um, 
I think that's all, all the information I need for now. Um, do you think I could take a moment to structure my thoughts and then we sure, can come course. together? Thank you. Great. Um, so I have a structure to present with you. Um, in the goal of our client, uh, Milk Corporation, to reduce emissions in five years, I'd like to look at this problem in three separate buckets. The first would be the agricultural raw materials portion of the supply chain and how they would uh, gather their materials. And second would be the actual manufacturing and processing of their milk materials and their milk product. And finally, the third bucket would be after processing the distribution channels that they use to supply milk to the rest of their uh, customers. So in the, in the agriculture raw materials department, I'd like to learn if there's any sustainable farming that uh, our client could take advantage of rather than their current supply, possibly that their current suppliers are using less sustainable farming methods, uh, whether or not there are uh, different kinds of cows or different things to feed the cows that would be more sustainable in regards to their their feed or their corn or however they feed the cows. And as well, I'd like to look at whether there are possibilities to use different uh, different different cows that have um, just more healthier or, or more sustainable way of farming. In regards to manufacturing, I'd like to learn if there's any investments we can put into new equipment that takes less uh, energy and less emissions to to run as well whether or not we can use newer facilities that could uh, be able to be able to use better use of energy so new facilities new equipment and as well possibly um, newer newer advancements in process processing engine uh, process engineering that would allow for better workflows within our factory um, for improved efficiency. And finally, I like to look at the distribution of our product, distributing, especially because 95% of our market is outside of our um, of our city, that possibly we can use a our own trucks and our own processing, um, our own distribution centers, or if we could uh, partner up with already existing trucks, truck companies, or even produce our own hybrid trucks that we use to um, use to store trucks and maybe as well something with refrigeration and getting better refrigeration techniques. So from the three buckets, the raw the raw materials agricultural bucket, the manufacturing and distribution, I fight I first like to look at the beginning of the supply chain and see where our client is sourcing their raw materials, particularly where their cows are located. And so is there any in, any information on how or where our client sources the raw materials to make their product? Yeah, great. I mean, thank you for the structure. Maybe we want to start with understanding uh, uh, maybe we want to start with understanding the current breakdown of our client's greenhouse gas emission. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that'd be a great start, the current breakdown. Yes, then let me share with the screen. Um. There is an exhibit that I want to share with you. But a uh, hi quick question. So you just you you just share me a I don't want to share the whole screen, but mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, do I have to let you share it? Uh one thing. I'm figuring out the technical issue. No problem, yeah. Okay.
how to okay yeah can you see it yes i can see it yeah tell me what you think absolutely so in this exhibit i see the cow bond emissions are the trends of the ghg emissions of mic and in this exhibit, I see the total GHG emissions in millions of tons in 2017, 2018, 2019, and in, in 2019. So first I see that the overall emissions has been increasing from 19 million tons up to 20 million tons in 2017, 2019. And I see that the cost of, just to make sure, so the red, the red portion would be of the farming and the green would be a production. And it looks like the last percent is uh, just other affiliated uh, gas emissions. So farming, it looks like had increased from 65% to 70% in 2018, 2019. However, production emissions have stayed the same through 2017, 2018, 2019. Um, Oh, oh, this is this is percentages, not this is percentages, not overall. Well, this is a total gas emissions for millions of tons, and we have the breakdown of each of those, each of those, um, each of those, these gas emissions. And just taking a look at the the percentages of production, eighty percent will be processing, and twenty percent will be transportation. That seems to hold relevant, hold true for all, um, all of the the years and as well cows being 90 percent and other being the 10 percent so so where would you want to start first right so in the objective of decreasing emissions in five years um i've i would like to know why i would like to know why it, it looks like it looks like the cows and the farming has been the increase of the um of the overall um of the overall gas emissions and so is there any information on uh, why the emissions from farming has increased from 2017 to 2018 so given the information you have already i mean we're looking for solutions so where you want to start first right so in regards to solutions um it looks like the largest it looks like the largest emissions are coming from processing and from the cows so um ideally it looks like the and however the cows looks like it is um it makes most of the uh, the 70 percent 65 70 percent of the farming emissions nine of those being the largest percentages of the of the of each emissions and the cows being 90 percent of that large section i'd like to learn what about those cows is making such large emissions and whether there's any opportunity for reducing emissions from the cow uh, the cows and the farming processes yeah, great. Actually, there is a solution for uh, solving the cow problems. They are considering a new breed of cow uh, to replace their current uh, herd. So all the char uh, character, uh, characteristics are the same, um, but they produce 33% uh, less greenhouse gas emission. So, which means the new breed, the new cow that produced 33 percentage uh, of greenhouse gas emission. Uh, so, our MIC owns farms all over the new cow land, and they want us to approximate how many cows they have in total. Approximate how many cows they have in total. Yeah. Great. So, um, and just to clarify, this is the how many cows in total of the new herd that we have? No, how many cows we have in total? Uh, the old herd. I mean, we want to replace the, the, the herd. Mm -hmm. so Absolutely, the I see. I yeah. see what you mean. So we want to replace all the old, the current herd with the new herd. So we need to find out how many cows. Okay, great. Um, so just a couple of clarifying questions uh, for estimating the market, the number of cows in this herd. Um, just to gather my thoughts again, we have a current volume, oh, we have a current revenue of $15 billion, $15 billion. Do we have any information about, um, how many, how many gallons of milk are produced by a cow, um, per year? 
Uh, the milk produced per cow is 10 liter per day. 10 liters per day. Great. And is there any information on how much a liter of milk sells for? Um, I will, we, have, we have average milk consumption per person is 150 right. liter per year. We can consider we have 300 days a year. Okay, so 150 liters per year and 350 days per year. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, I think from what I remember of gas, uh, of milk prices in the supermarket, I think it'd be safe to say that one liter of milk might cost $2 or two, $2. I mean, we don't, we need to worry about the revenue. It's, uh, we want um, to calculate the number, the number of the cows. cows. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so the milk produces 10 liters a day. The average milk consumption is 150 liters per year and the number, uh, 150 liters per year. And the number of days in the year for this problem is 350 days per year. Uh, is there any information on how many uh, liters of milk are sold yearly? Um, so for the, uh, mm, so you remember we, we, uh, we, oh. we sell a hundred percent of the milk of the new Cowland, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, and the uh, population of the new Cowland is 5 million. Oh, that's right. Okay, the population of the Cowland is 5 million. Okay, and as well, as well, we said that 5% um, of our market is in new Cowland. However, yes. the rest is exported. So, okay, so 95% is exported. And so, okay, and then the 5% is the five, 95%. This is the 5%. Okay, absolutely. So we have the milk produced per day and the average milk consumption per person for 5 million percent. Um, okay, the average is 150 liters per day. Okay, so from this, do you mind if I take a minute to structure my thoughts of how I'd like to calculate? Sure. Thank you. Okay. So from this, I from calculating the total number of cows in being produced by our client, Milky Corporation, I'd first like to start with the um because we can assume that the average number the average milk consumption is 150 liters per year uh, per person. I I first like to learn how many, how the size of our market of the number of people that consume milk. And from there, work down from how many people to how many. How much milk is consumed to the cows and ultimately the number of cows. We'll just take the uh take a simple assumption that average milk consumption per person is 150 liter per year. Okay, absolutely. 150 liters per year. Absolutely. So the 100 percent of New Caland the being 150% of the New Caland's 5 million people is 5% of our if of our uh overall yes. uh, consumption. And so from that, 95% is exported. So if 5 million people is 5% of our export. That means our total market of people that purchase milk that buy from us is 100 million people. So we have 100 million people that purchase milk, uh, that drink milk. And of these 100 million people, the average milk consumption is 150 liters per year. And so from that, I, I could calculate how many liters of milk are drank uh, by uh, drank by our uh, that that the number of milliliters of milk that customers of our client MIC are consumed each year. And so with 150 liters per year times 100 million people, um, briefly that calculation is one five. So we add the one and then 15. So that would be, so 150 liters times 100 million people, that is, that is, that is liters per person, 100 million people. That's right. Uh, that means it's liter million, 15 billion liters of milk drank per year by our customers. And so that is our number of, um, that is our number of liters of milk drank per year. And so from that, we know that there are per year, 
And so we divide that by the 350 days per year so that we get the number of liters drank per day. Um, 350 days per year. And so 15 billion divided by 350 days per year is T3 divided by 350. So that's 15, 1500 divided by 35. Um, so 35 times four is going to be 140. So now we have 100. Um, so 1500 divided by 35 is four. 40, 43, 43. So, right, so, so we have 15 billion liters of milk drank per year divided by 350 days per year. So that is 43, um, 400 divided by 10, divided by 10. That would be 43 million liters drank per day it's 43 yeah 43 million liters drank of milk drank per day is, is i mean that... we I, I think i think the the problem is how many cows they have yes in yes so so, so yeah with, 40, you, you... with with 43 uh, excuse me a uh, 43 million liters of uh milk drank per day divided by 10 liters per day that does that mean we have 4.3 million cows that's a very uh, let, let we can assume we have five million cows. Five million cows. Okay, great. great. So yeah. great. Five for four point five million cows. Absolutely great. Um, so with this five million cows, um, five million cows market. If we were to introduce the new herd of cows that would reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by thirty per thirty three percent, our current our current millions of tons is. 20 million tons of uh, greenhouse gas emissions, um, according to this exhibit. And so uh, introducing this new herd of cows that's same in all aspects, except for the reduced greenhouse gas emissions, means that we're going to have 20 million divided by, divided by, uh, multiplied by two thirds. Um, so I mean, but yeah, that's, uh, that's a great sum up, but oh. we need to consider that we want to, I mean, given that we know we have, I'm going to close the sharing. Oh, so given sure. that we, we know we have 5 million cows mm -hmm. and it's, it's taken, the average life of a cow is five years. So which means if we want to replace all of them, it's going to take five years, I right? See. Yeah. And, right. and now we can calculate the total cost of replacing the herd. Okay. Total and cost. and the total emission that will be saved from these replacements. Absolutely. Oh, I I mean, you wanna? Yeah, absolutely. That? Um, so how much how much does it cost to um to get a new cow and replace an old one? Um, I will still share the screen. And the the cows, the old braid, the old braid costs two thousand dollars. Okay, two thousand dollars. cow. Yeah, for new braid. Is two thousand and five hundred to purchase. Okay, per cow. Yeah, okay. and the old braid emits two point five ton ton per year. Okay. And the new braid emits thirty three percentage less. Okay, absolutely. Okay, so. Okay, so from these figures of so we know from the last question that our number of cows is 5 million, 5 million cows. We have 5 million cows and we want to replace those 5 million cows uh, over the next five years, um, over the next five years by, um, we want to replace the number of cows in the next five years with these new cows. So with a 33%, okay. And so this is for the goal of improving the. So just to make just to, just to clarify the question. So we have the five million cows that we currently have, and we would like to replace those five million cows with a new breed of cows. Um, will this will this take just a This will take place over five years. Yes. Okay. Take place over five. Years. Um. Do you 
is it is it a straight line where yes uh, we'll, you can okay, straight line um so that means for every year we will have replaced 1.25 million cows um per year why why 1.25 we we're gonna replace oh, one, million <laughs> one, one million one million one million one million cows yeah. for you uh one million cows per year thank you um so one million cows per year we're gonna place one million cows per year and so for each for each new cow costs two thousand five hundred dollars and so um per year multiplying the one million cows to be replaced per year multiplied by the 250 2500 dollars per cow that would be a 2.5 uh billion yeah 2.5 billion dollar expenditure for new cows every year for new cows every year uh, and for five years that would eventually be 12.5 billion but just to keep that number in mind um and so for the and so the total cost of replacing the herd would be um over five years uh, per year is 2.5 billion and from for five years it'd be 12. i mean ac ac actually ac actually it's the uh, uh um the total cost we could we could consider that as the extra cost so i mean so even though we don't replace the the cow with the new her with, with the new new braid but we still need to replace them because their life is five years mm -hmm. so oh i see yeah they cost two thousand bucks but the new braid is uh two thousand and five hundred mm -hmm. so you can just consider what the actual cost need okay the actual cost okay so the actual cost five hundred dollar per cow right but yes, five hundred because the old will the old will pass and the new, so the new will come in. So um, the actual it will actually be five hundred dollars per cow, um, five hundred dollars per cow, one million cows per year. So that actually be over five years would be two point five billion dollars, um, for okay. five years. Yeah, that's correct. And quick thing I want to remind us, um, so which means we're gonna cost uh five five hundred million per year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, five hundred right. million per year. And just a quick thing I want to remind is the budget of the whole project to mm -hmm. reduce the uh, greenhouse gas is seven fifty mm -hmm. millions. Yes. So within that, the replacing the replacing the one million cows per year costing five hundred million dollars per year with our budget being 750 million dollars per year replacing all of our old cows with the new cows is within our budget and so this this expenditure is good however however this would reduce our emissions from cow for 33 uh, percent of the old and so we are still short of our goal of reducing our emissions of 45 percent in five years and so uh, with the cows expenditure of uh, the cows greenhouse gas emissions being reduced uh, i'd like to next look at the processing uh the processing of our the processing of the milk if there's any way to reduce the emissions of so that. how many greenhouse reduction we're going to achieve after the five years after the five years the greenhouse gas emission uh reduction will be so 90 percent of the 14 Ninety percent of the fourteen million tons of cow currently in two thousand nineteen is um is going to be the greenhouse gas. So ninety percent of fourteen is going to be one point four times nine. Um, uh, so that's six three. That'd be so. Currently, twelve point six million tons of greenhouse gas emissions are uh, expended by cows per year, and so we're gonna lower that by thirty three percent. With the new cows um and so lowering that by 30 percent so we're going to multiply 12.6 divided by three maybe four 4.2 4 .2 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions now what percentage oh percentage um and so four uh percentage of the whole gas emissions yes i right. mean remember re remember that we have a target of 45 percent yes yeah Okay, so we have the 4.2 million of reduction. However, we have 20 million total. Um, so the 4.2 million. I mean, just for uh for for uh for more convenient, easy, you can we can always calculate the JHG emission by percentage. So we okay. want uh okay. deduct by 45 percentage. Oh, deduct. Okay. Yeah. So 33. Okay, so subtract 33 percent of 
90. Is that correct? So I mean, but the, but the cow only, yeah, uh, only uh, the 90 percentage of the 70 percent. Okay, so we just need, okay, so it's 30 percent. So, it's, okay, so we just, it's just 30 percent. So we, so we reduce 30 percent of the greenhouse gas emissions. We reduce 30, so 33% uh, of 90% is 30. And so overall we reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by 30%. Is that correct? It's a 30 percentage. I mean, you can, I'm still sharing the screen, right? So it's yeah. so we reduce 33 percentage of the 90 percentage of the 70 percentage of the farming. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, so, I see. So, oh, oh sorry, sorry about that. So 33% yeah. of the 90%, that's subtracting 30%. And that's 30% of the 70%. So that overall for the total, that is 30%. Um, so overall, we reduce 20.6%. Uh, 20.6%. Uh, so which is almost uh, less uh, than halfway. Less than half. Yeah. Less than halfway of our target, but we already spend. Uh, Much of our budget, yeah. Yeah. Okay. To 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 third of our budget, right? Yeah, for most of our budget. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah, you're right. Next, we need to uh look at reducing the emission from the production. So, uh, what what are your thoughts? What are some uh potential ways that that emission can be reduced during the production phase? Great. Um, could I have a quick second to structure my thoughts on that question? Sure. Thank you. Great. So in the um, in the topic of ways to reduce the processing emissions for our client, I'd like to look at two separate um, buckets of possible options. First would be the fixed options of one-time purchases that we could make to reduce processing. And then the second would be to uh, reduce the emissions per liter of milk um, uh, produced. So in the fixed of one-time purchases, we, would, we could possibly buy new equipment that is more efficient uh, than our current equipment. As well, we can move our factories to a new location or source our, make contracts with new suppliers that are uh, closer with our, closer uh, with our, as uh, closer with our manufacturing facilities, as well as invest in new trucks or new ways to, or new distribution channels. Um, however, this is a processing, a question about processing. So definitely, uh, definitely, uh, purchasing new equipment would be one way that we could um, uh, improve the processing emissions as well with the variable uh, if there is a way to uh, improve the processing of each liter of milk um, one way could be to um, to uh, to uh, um, to improve the industrial processing of uh, the industrial engineering of our facilities to uh, include better um, usage of the space that we have. So those would be my um, ideas for uh, for reducing the processing, emissions from processing. Uh, so from this, from this, I'd like to look for the, if there's any information on new equipment or new uh, fixed purchases that we can make to improve our processing. Uh, I see. Companies. Actually, my question is, uh, what are the uh, ways to reduce during the production phase? So within the production phase, we can reduce uh, processing and uh, transportation, right? So there yeah. are, so yeah, and, and, I mean, moving forward, I mean, there are some ways to reduce uh, GHG. And I would like to uh, share the screen with that and tell me uh, what you think. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, to where's I mean how to share the oh stop sharing. Yeah. Here. Yeah, here's the uh another exhibition. 
So Absolutely. tell me what you think. Thank you. So in this exhibit, um, we see the alternatives to reduce greenhouse gas emissions for MIC. And in this exhibit, we see the different ways we could reduce greenhouse gas emissions for process and for transport. Um, and with this in mind, and, and of these alternatives, we have the proposed change to production, the total percent reduction of emissions, number of units, max percentage, and replacement annual total cost of max replacement. And there are notes on the bottom that says for the total percentage reduction of emissions, um, this reduction of emissions will be based on exhibit one with 100% units replaced. Um, so in this 100% of the current processing units will be replaced by the uh, proposed alternative. Um, the number of units uh, on footnote number two will replace one to one ratio. And so there won't be any conversion needed for that. Um, yes, and the maximum percentage of annual unit replacement uh, will be replaced annually uh, for a total of two replaced per year. The annual total cost of max replacement would be the annual replacement maximal would cost 150 million to replace two units. Okay, absolutely. Uh, Where do you want to start first? Right. So in the topic, and within, um, con considering we have limited budget, so we can only where what, what what method you want to prioritize? Absolutely. So we have we have currently, if we were to replace the cows, we have um we have seven hundred fifty million in our original budget minus the five hundred million. Um, so we have currently two hundred fifty million uh dollars in our budget left. Um, and so the annual cost for total max replacement over five years as well. Um. So it would be over five years. And so of what really comes to mind is the process improvement of the renewable energy source and the new sterilizing processes would not be possible for annual budget because uh, they are over our budget. And as well, the new packaging process and other... Um, so it looks like uh, the other... The other I mean, why, why is already above our budget? It's um, cost 150 million per year right per year okay oh i see i see and and oh, we're, our budget is 750 7 yeah we aren't making the purchase of cows uh okay so it looks like all of the it looks like all of the um it looks like all of the all of the options are are affordable for our client um let's just take a quick second so the electrification of the fleet uh, from what i remember the um, if you can remind me what what how much of the um how much of the emissions are from the processes um of of um uh how much of the of our clients' greenhouse gas emissions are of the process uh make up the processing? Um could you remind me of that figure? Yeah, um, sure. Uh I think. I mean, uh, I think we are, um, uh, we, we, uh, I, I think you can, you can, you can give, give your, your, uh, God's okay. thoughts. So oh, my thoughts. What, what, okay. what would be the, uh, the, the best way to, to, to tackle this problem? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, the total reduction of emissions, um, it looks like the renewable energy source and the electrification, electrification of the fleet would be, the highest total reduction of emissions, as well as, however, the number of units. So I think best would be to. Um, it looks like it looks like the other. It looks like the other and the new packaging process material have the lowest reduction of emissions, and so as well as having, especially the new packaging process, having a high annual total cost of replacement. So I would immediately, in my mind, uh, cross that option out as well and, and from consideration. Um, from the electrification of the feet, 100% total reduction of emissions for transport uh, for $50 million per year uh, of annual total cost of max replacement. And so the electrification of the fleet taking only $50 million per year, uh, that would mean uh, a large, uh, that would mean that that would be a very attractive purchase due to its low cost as well as its uh, high reduction of emissions. So pursuing that electric energy fee, so we have as uh, 50 million um, 
That was a fifty million annual total cost for five years. Is that correct? Five, over can we calculate this over five years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh it's it uh the 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 our client our client CEO is about to join us. So can you uh provide her a brief summary of what we have discussed today? Absolutely. Um can I take a quick moment to structure my thoughts? Sure. Thank you. Great. So um, thank you, first of all, for letting me work on this case with you. Um, so in this, in the, on the topic of reducing our clients emissions by 45% in the next five years, our recommendation is to utilize our resources of $750 million budget to reduce the emissions of our processing, uh, of our processing steps uh, by introducing renewable energy sources into our processing, as well as electrif electrifying our fleet of transportation and distribution. The reasons for this is after looking at possibly replacing the cows into a new uh, energy, more efficient cows, um, we realized that that was not an effective uh, solution to reducing our um, our our uh, emissions by 45% within the five years. And so from this, we look towards re reducing the emissions of our processing facilities uh, by, and after doing an analysis that uh, introducing renewable energy sources and electrifying our fleet would be the best ways to reduce our, um, our emissions in economically. Some risks towards this is that um, the, the, the ability to shift our manufacturing processes from our current processes to an electrified fleet and a renewable energy source will cause unintended or unforeseen um, unforeseen costs of operational and other um, other uh, uh, other um, integrating uh, facility integrating these facilities might cause problems that are unforeseen. However, um, from this I would like to look forward in next steps to determine whether or not operationally it is feasible to integrate new renewable energy sources and electrifying our fleet, whether that is a uh, operational capability that um, your team and our clients can um, can achieve. So thank you. Great. I mean, yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> Tell me what you think. That was really hard. <laughs> <laughs> That was really hard. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's uh, I mean, you did a great job. I mean, at least uh, you uh, you 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 you, did, you didn't stuck. I mean, you 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 always tried to. I tried, yeah, I tried. <laughs> I definitely tried. <laughs> you definitely tried to yeah. keep the case moving forward, and yeah. I think uh, so for the uh, overall, uh, yeah, I think for the overall, I think it's really good. That you uh state clearly where you are at, what your what's your assumption, what kind of number you're working at. So that's really easy for me to follow up when it's going wrong. I could correct immediately, and just in case you don't go, uh, wrong direction further, and so that's really good. And but I think the biggest problem it's for me it's quite obvious. It's uh there is a rule. It's called eighty twenty rule. So. Have you ever heard about that? No, no. Yeah, 88 is called the 8020 rules. So which means usually you can leverage your 20 percentage effort to tackle 80 percentage of the problems. So which means you always need to prioritize what is the most impactful steps, what's the most um uh what's the uh, most influential uh action uh, for you to consider. So that, that problem, I think it's, is you, 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 you have a lot of ideas, but we don't have that many times 
So yeah. in short, we always need to prioritize. For example, like um, I can share a screen. So for yeah, example, yeah. we see. Yeah. <sighs> so That's for, what I figured. So so for example, from the exhibit, the first exhibit, you can see the 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 most thing what we want to focus. The first and foremost is the cows. Oh, yeah. So here is uh seventy percentage and cows account for ninety percentage. So is there any ways that we could figure out cows problems? That's the most important things. And then second, then you may want to consider the processing and transportation. So mm -hmm. we want to uh tackle processing. It's more prioritized than the transportation, right? And and the 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 other thing is you can see the other uh uh exhibit too. I mean just just for a quick view, we want to understand how how much we can reduce uh, our emission. So we can just look at the, the largest number. Mm -hmm. This is seventy percent. It's a hundred percent. I think we should definitely look into that. So for the thing that two percent, the zero one percent. I mean, I think we don't really yeah, need our time or effort to put too much emphasis on that. That kind of waste your time. And also, I mean, there's only limited time for you to tackle problems. Mm -hmm. If you don't prioritize, if you don't, uh, then it's, 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 I mean, you cannot dig that deeper. Yeah. 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 That and, should just be like immediately, like the numbers are big. Like, let's go with it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, what else? I think I mean overall, this is a really hard pro, uh, hard hard case, and it's really unconventional. But I think, uh, but on the other side, is you're really good. So for for the uh, uh opening, you ask really good clarifying questions about the uh uh what kind of product they they made, understand their business, their location, their revenue, and there is uh one key things is you could ask for next time is you can uh, you can you can ask uh, how they operate uh, i mean they actually own the full production line from the farm to uh production oh, yeah. and to shipping right oh. you, you just forget about the farm completely so where yeah. they get the ingredient right where they yeah. get the milk from the beginning oh, yeah so all the all the all the things about like getting new suppliers or getting you know whatever that, that would have been irrelevant so yes and yeah. the uh, and then after you you're getting into the frameworks, um. Yeah, so, I wasn't. Yeah, happy. I mean, I mean, it's it's good. You you start you start to analyze. You, I mean, it's really good. You understand that's a operation, you no know, uh problems. So you start to analyze the supply chain the operate. That's good things. It's really good brainstorm. You have some ideas about the. Uh, I can understand that you understand. I can tell that you understand how 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 a uh, a uh, a manufacturer to operate. But the thing is, uh, I mean, I think there are two, the two, the two main points you are missing. So one is I implied that they have a budget for this project. So, uh, so you, I think you need to keep that in mind from the whole case. They have a budget. They need to consider that from non-financial factors whether the 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 ways are effective to reduce the emission and also are they financially reasonable. Uh, mm -hmm. given the limited budget, and the and the second is if you if if we want to work together to reduce the greenhouse gas, so where are the greenhouse gas are coming from? Mm -hmm. That's the uh most important questions we need to start to to working on. So how to, which means the the breakdown of the greenhouse gases. So where does the gas come from? And then mm -hmm. that's naturally come with the uh accident. Calvin. The first, yeah, yeah. but is. but unfortunately, you didn't ask that question. You ask, you want to understand the supply chains. You want to understand the operation. Yeah, thing, but it's you, obvious you, now. Yeah, it's just... yeah. You didn't ask where the gas comes from, but that's the most important. It, it it's just like you want to you want a revenue boost. You want to understand where the revenue comes from. You want to reduce cost. You want to, want to understand where the cost from. You want to reduce gas. You want to understand where the gas comes from. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, and uh, and about the uh, about wow. the uh, I mean, overall, I think you did a great job. I, it's it's wow. really it's really it's really hard and conventional and unconventional and uh, and 
if you could um and it's it's also quite obvious for me that you rely on the uh you rely on the uh uh structures that we used for tackle the market revenue uh uh, you re rely on the those uh structure a lot, so you you didn't develop your C legs. So when when it's for example when we calculate a cow, mm -hmm. I mean you mentioned about the how uh the the average dollar that, that you see that in the local stores, but we don't need to consider that. It's not about the yeah. dollar problem. It's about how many cows we need. Yeah. Um. Focused on yes. yeah. Wow. Okay. Um. Could we could we walk through the rest of the case like uh the slides? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's it start. Okay. This is the beginning. Okay. And then yeah. And then the next the next slide. Okay. The next uh, slide. Okay. It's uh it's uh uh and show you now. the exhibit. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. Show the ex exhibit. That's what the. Were, uh, so what were the takeaways? What were the takeaways from the the last slide? Um. Like like in the last slide said takeaways from exhibit one. Okay, so oh, yeah. for the uh, for the structure, the mo the most important things, uh, the candidate should lead the case towards understanding uh, current breakdown of the gas mission. Yeah, and okay. for and then, the exhibit takeaways is the candidate need to identify cows are the yeah. first logical step. Yeah, just like that. As soon yeah, as this is like the lar largest number, right? Yeah, kind of, so cows like are the first step. Yeah, yeah. so. But you you have, I mean, and another thing is really great habit. You you I mean, it's like just what you suggest to me. You read you you read all the components by you a lot of times, but just just remember the eighty twenty rules. You you uh you you get the wow. most important element to tackle the eighty percentage of the problems. Eighty twenty that's huge because that that would have helped me throughout the whole case, right? Just just like that. Yeah. Yes, and and then is we calculate how many cows we have, and uh, I yeah. mean those those data, I mean is only provided if you ask. So mm -hmm. you really ask very good uh, <laughs> questions. So how many new consumptions? How many uh populations, and things. Okay. And Great. then, but I, but for for somehow I think if you don't. If you were not get distracted by the revenue, I think you yeah. may get quicker to the yeah. To the and I was close four point three million to five million. That's close. That's that's pretty close. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, and then we uh calculate the uh uh emissions. So if we replace them, mm -hmm. if we replace them uh within five years, oh. so how how much we're gonna cost and how much we're gonna save. So we're gonna taste uh say 20 per percentage so yeah. which is uh, a zero uh 70 percent multiple 19 percent yeah. and multiple uh, 33 percent right yeah. so oh, we're gonna say so yeah you you, you got you got it you got yeah. it yeah and eventually we, yeah but yeah um, and then here is a brainstorm mm -hmm. the uh what kind of uh option that we could leverage to reduce the emission during the production emission so but but I mean, you you analyze you your your structure is fixed emission and variable emission. I, I can see that you borrow that from from fixed cost and variable cost. But there's a very, <laughs> I mean, there's a very yeah, obvious. Yeah. I mean, I I remember I didn't stop sharing the screen by that time. Yeah. But that is the production. I mean, you can leverage the information that you already have during the case interview. Mm -hmm. So that information, it's it is also your assets. Okay. So I mean, at, at least from the production, we can see that very clearly is the uh, processing and trans tra tra transportation. So yeah. and about the transportation, and we can think a lot about the uh, now we have EV electrifying uh the transportation and for the processing and the, yeah, just as easy as that. Yeah. <laughs> I I made it too. I wait. I made it more complicated than I need to be. I always made it too complicated for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. you got yourself a lot of uh, uh, um more more problems to conquer before yeah. you you hit the uh hit the right. Yeah. <laughs> I made it hard for myself. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's right yeah. there. It's just right there. Just look at it. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally is the uh the second exhibit. Yeah. The second, but but we are already out of time. 
Yeah. But ideally, you could, if you have enough time, ideally, you could calculate how much gas reduction you can get mm -hmm. within the five years. So this is uh, this is fourteen percent. This is five percent. So, so in the end, when you give the recommendation, I mean, we should definitely consider the herd because it's already reduced, uh, mm -hmm. almost halfway. But it costs a lot of budget, of course, and so uh, this action, uh, replace a new braid and get a renewable energy and the uh, electrifying our fleet and get us ninety percentage towards our goal, mm -hmm. and then, uh, what else, right? And there are some brainstorms for our next steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is our is our budget? I I I must have got wrong. Is there is our budget a hundred fifty a hundred? Excuse me, seven hundred fifty million dollars per year. A year, yeah. Per year, damn it! I I thought I must. I think I put it total, so that's why. Yeah, it, it, it's complicated because yeah. I mean it's a five year I mean, project. It's yeah. easy for for us uh okay. within that situation to get numbers. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, gosh. So the twenty one percent plus the nineteen percent. Well, yeah, you're almost there. Fifty percent. Like yeah, 50, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and then great this lobbying. Yeah, lobbying the laws reversed. Yeah, adoption. Yeah. Oh, damn. I mean that's really complicated, but I think you did. Overall, it's great. Yeah, it's thank you, thank you. Okay. Um. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um. So, but, so I, but I I really enjoy this case for several reasons. First, this is really a a timely case relevant to the uh to the current topics. And because I am doing a nonprofit doing the sustainability and climate action, as I just mentioned, so I'm kind of familiar with that issues. So that kind of topic also the mingo uh mingo problems of business problems and government problems and regulations and the new technology uh implementation so so this is uh i mean you can you can you can see from the uh, brainstorms there yeah. are also uh, like lobbying government adaption to new technologies yeah uh, yeah i mean i mean those are a great exercise to yeah. to 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 get into the real world problems yeah, yeah. It was funny. I, I just on the side. I I actually recognize the format because there's another case in this booklet called um like the book market. It, if you look on, it's like um it's 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 called like the Spanish book market. Oh, go down. Yeah, I did the bookstore before the bookstore. I didn't even oh. I didn't even finish it. I I I couldn't even I couldn't even finish the case. Like my 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 case the the case partner I had that that has a job now. She we she did it for me like she she gave it to me I I didn't even get halfway until we just gave up like I couldn't even I couldn't even begin to do it so really is that so hard it was wow. really hard you can look at it later but yeah it was really hard um but if we if we can go down um yeah okay. I mean gosh I I I definitely just made it too hard for myself I definitely it's just because I just just looking at it it's just like oh like just like looking at it the the cows are the most important and then looking at it like the the those two things in the table are most important you know and just go with that i i just really didn't make it too complicated like yeah gosh this was a really this was really hard <laughs> i mean that's also very rewarding right this was really cool it was really cool um so yeah what, what i want to talk to you after is if we could if the next time we meet i don't i don't know if we can meet um if the next time we meet if we can do this exact same case again so that way i could like I could act like I could actually do my so definitely they, they recommend that we do the same case again. So if we can if we can do this one again, then I think that really really helped me. So just I mean, like, depends on you. Depends on you. Yeah, I, I'd love yeah. to. I'd love to do this one again, like later sure. or something. Yeah, after. yeah, yeah. But for me, I would like a new case, and yeah, I yeah, mean, no problem. For, for yeah. me, at this stage, I need to expand my horizon to try a different case to see how I perform. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because because the one the one we did the one we just did with you it, it's very straightforward, right? It's very straightforward. Yes, uh -huh. like, have it, have, you having worked in like business and having an MBA and everything, like all the all of the joint ventures acquisition, all that stuff, like you know, it's just yeah, need to dip your toes in it. So, but yeah. I need to work more on putting myself together to better articulate myself, my my thoughts, and to uh, structure my thoughts more clearly, and mm -hmm. for you to easy follower, uh, to follow that, right? Mm -hmm. 
yeah. Wait, so so just just to, just to make it clear, what would you what would you recommend were my like biggest issues for for this case? I mean, one is definitely I made it too complicated, just like you know, like just you know. But what else would you recommend? I mean, I think you're good, but from good to great, there are two things. So one is 80-20 rules that I just mentioned. You need to figure out what to prioritize, what is the most important uh, things you want to put your effort and time to focus and tackle. And that's the first thing. And the second is, um, the second is you, uh, I mean, you already, uh, I can tell that you're already very familiar with the uh, 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 the uh, conventional structure, the cost, the 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 production, the um, but you need to develop a, your CLEX when you getting the new information, when you tackling the real problems. Um, it's for example, like I I just showed the uh, component of the uh, gas emissions. Why not just leverage the existing category, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, but you you use the 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 fixed and variable, and that's, I mean, yeah. for one thing, I can tell it you're creative, but for the but on the other hand, I can tell you didn't, you didn't really absorb yeah. the information I offer. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I, so I totally agree. I, I yeah. that that's really yeah. important to to absorb what kind of new information was given during the case. Mm -hmm. I mean what, what was, that. What was that word you like capex or celex? What 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 was that word? You used oh, C, a C lag. It's you need to be uh flexible. <laughs> oh, okay, flexible. Imagine that you're on you're on the C, right? Yeah. Oh. And so it's, uh... Wait, how how do you spell that? I, I actually I'm curious because I think it's real C S E A what? Lag. C lag. L E L E G. Your your lag. Oh, C legs. Oh yeah, C. Oh yeah, C legs. You're completely right. <laughs> yeah. You're completely right. Yeah, that's that's very very that's thank you so much. that actually is really really important. Yeah, because I I get stuck into like okay now it's time for this and now it's time for this and this is the this is why but instead just like you know just like roll yes. with it. so yeah woo <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's okay. the uh but overall that's really a rewarding experience for me as well I I yeah. really enjoy the case yeah can yeah. can you imagine could you imagine if you were at like McKinsey or BCG and, and these were the problems you'd work on like these are the projects you work on is like mm -hmm. you actually work with like fucking like I don't know like like uh, like Exxon Mobil mm -hmm. Exxon Mobil to reduce their emissions you know like or something like that I mean this is the case designed by uh, BCG BCG yeah, yeah. wow I I I I also felt this is really a BCG style case. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, yeah, this yeah. was super cool. Um, any other any other thoughts for me? Uh, otherwise, uh, I'll end the recording pretty soon. Uh, no, I think I will wrap up everything in the emails. So yeah. Great. This was super oh. cool, and I, I'll be I'll just just really clear. Like when in the in the same in the same booklet, I did the bookstore. Mm -hmm. It was fucking hard. I I could I'm I couldn't even finish it. Like I it wasn't even it wasn't even close. So I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I actually got a lot further now. I I'm I'm surprised I've grown a little bit. So I've gotten better. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's the whole point with practicing. Yeah. And yeah, for what about let's let's do this a weekly. We can mm -hmm. try it uh next week also on Sunday. What do you think? Okay. I yeah. Let's let's keep this time. Yeah. Um. I let's keep this time next week Sunday. I'll I'll send the re reoccurring. But I also can do middle of the week. I I don't mind doing that either. Um. Like, what do you think? Well, I mean, I'm, you're you're the one that's a lot busier than me because you're working right now. I'm not. Um, I'm I'm not quite. I uh I cannot guarantee that I can, I could be free during the weekday. But yeah, for Sunday, I could definitely uh free up the morning. Session. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I sent you. Okay. Definitely Sunday mornings. Um. Yeah. We'll definitely do this. Um, From eight thirty yeah. to ten thirty. Yeah, I I, to I I like to do the back to back. Uh. Part. Then I don't need to uh figure out another time to to do. Yeah. That. Exactly. Yeah. Let's just do back to back. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is super cool. Um. Thank you again. This was really helpful. I I do have to get going right now. Um. But yeah. So <laughs> but this was super helpful. Thank you so much, Ellen. This is really. Thank you good. so much, Steph. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Okay. All right. See you, Ellen. Bye. Okay, bye. -bye.